Staff guy! Oh, what's up, Captain? We're reviewing the Devil's Backbone today. Oh, heck yeah! Not only that, but we're going to be doing some renovations. Today we're reviewing the Devil's Backbone. It is from Real L Brewing Company, and I believe it's from Blanco, Texas. It is a unfiltered Belgian style triple beer and I'm excited to try this. It has high alcohol content but it's going to be hopefully pretty smooth because of the way they brewed it. Now the name is actually stretched from the Hill Country Highway in Texas because Texas is pretty flat, got some hills. Uh, it is a Belgian style triple featuring a beautiful bell, pale golden color. Um, and the L's has a little bit of the, more of a spicy hops to it. Uh, so it's definitely going to have this little spicy hint to it. But I'm excited to try it. And I hear, you know, it goes down really smooth, but it's really strong. Captain, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's get to cracking. Oh, hole in one. That didn't work how I thought it would. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Devil's Backbone, which this is a lot lighter than I thought it was going yeah, to be. Yeah, no, that's what they say. It, it, with it being a, a, tr a Belgian triple, it's going to be very light but heavy in alcohol content. Wow! This is that. going to be an amazing beer. It's going to go down smooth and hit you hard. Ready to taste it. Check it out. Whoa! Whoa! You can definitely Ooh. taste there's some alcohol in there, but it is amazingly smooth. Very not spicy. too bitter, but it's 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 a different kind of bitter. It's like a... you can tell they use a spicier hop yeah. in the brew. It definitely has that tinge to it of that spiciness that you wouldn't get, but almost like a fruitful flavor underneath of it as well. It is a very very tasty beer, but definitely you can taste the alcohol content. It's, it's like if you were to put together like a mango and a habanero. And put it into a beer. That's kind of what it tastes like. No, if you're to me, it, anyways. Yeah, maybe not as hot as a habanero, but that 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 like almost that mango habanero flavor you get from flavor. the from the wings. This is what it is in beer form. And it is an amazing beer. Um, and the good thing is, is with the high alcohol content, you're definitely going to get a good little buzz there. It's the devil's the backbone. As the captain shows, he is all excited about this beer. And I hope you guys are just excited as well. From this would area. go good with tacos. It would. Another good thing that I think this food would go with was uh, maybe some Vietnamese cuisine or some Chinese food. You can definitely taste with this. That spicy uh, overtone of this, but the fruity flavor in it would definitely go good with something like that. So, with this Devil's Backbone, what do you think we should rate this? Because, yeah. like, it's not as much... I don't know if I'm just really drunk or what, but... It tastes decent enough. I want to give it like a three beers and a mustache. That's me. You know what? I I agree with you on this. I think a three beers and a mustache is a per perfect rating for this beer. It does have a high alcohol content, but I mean with its well-rounded and blendedness, I would give it at least a, a three beers and a mustache. This is an awesome beer. And I want to thank again our returning sponsors, Get Down Gaming. Thank you so much for being our returning sponsor. And Dragonfly Designs from Belton, Texas. Thank you again for being our other returning sponsor. You guys have been great so far, and thank you for, for helping us uh, drink beer, because that's what we do best. If you have a beer that you would like us to try and review, please leave it in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you will be updated with new content. All right.